Okay, this is how we're going to measure uh, controls for, or engine controls for uh, custom manufacture. We have this drawing here that can be found on our website. Typically there's three different types. Um, we have a swivel type, which is indicated up here. And these are both swivel type controls. Uh, the difference in the two is that this one has a uh, threaded terminal end, bulkhead fitting, and this one just has the groove for the mounting. Um, when we measure this, we're, we're looking for dimension D, which would be from, like indicated here, from the groove back side of the groove there to the, to the back side of the groove down here and then if you have a part that has threads rather than from the groove we measure from the very beginning of the threads on that end to the other end of the threads there, 26 and 3 eighths on that. And then we want dimension A and dimension F, which is also from this groove so we would go from the groove to the end of the rod or with the threaded one it would be from the beginning of the threads there to the end of the rod which is eight and a half thread size is 1032 and then they're not always the same on each side, so make sure to measure both sides. So on this one, that's eight and three eighths with a 1032 thread. Then in order to find the travel, you can either go ahead and get your E and B dimension which this would be the E side which would be to the thread from the end of the rod We're looking at five and an eight so then you can just subtract the two to get your travel or you can lay it next to a tape measure and line it up with a, a number there and then retract it and you'll find that same type of dimension there. And these examples do not have a wear sleeve. Um, the wear sleeve is similar to the one we saw where it can either be threaded, non-threaded, um, swaged on or floating and kind of the same idea as D if you do have a sleeve on there you would just measure from backside to maybe a sleeve starts at 8 inches then you can mark that on there if it's not swaged and threaded you can mark floating um, and then on this one you can check the box or put some marks on it, make it look like it's threaded however it works. And that would be that for all for that one. And then we have a version without a swivel that we call a standard version. And it is measured the same way it doesn't have a swivel so rather than measuring from a swivel you would start from here 
and then measure the length of the control. This is 150 inches, so I'm not going to be able to measure it with the tape measure. Uh, this one. Um, and then the same would go for A and H in this case. Uh, extend it out, measure it, retract it, measure it, same as the top, and then subtract one from the other, you get your treble. Um, and then same with sleeves if there are any. Um, just measure from this point to wherever it starts and then mark that down. Um, okay, this is a custom form that we have uh, to measure your controls for us to manufacture. These are custom forms found on our website. And if you have any other questions, you can also call us and ask for the customs department. And we would be happy to help.